Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. We are fast approaching the full moon on the 3rd and the 4th and I don't know how you're feeling but there is a lot coming up from the shadow, you know, the uh, you might be feeling quite emotional at this time. Old sadness, old, you know, anxiety, old emotions coming to the surface to be cleared. So if you are feeling emotional, just uh, give yourself space. I feel we need lots of space at this time just to you know, recalibrate, feel everything, and become the awareness and allow the emotions to move through us. And uh, I mentioned I was going to bring Goddess Hathor through and she has been around me, you know, all morning and she's been chanting this one, you know, message to me that she wants to deliver. Love is the medicine. She says, love is the medicine, love is the medicine, love is the medicine. That's all I've been hearing <laughs> all morning. So I thought today was the perfect day to bring her through and, you know, She's in an incredible goddess and she's the you know the goddess of boundless love, infinite love. Uh, number eight is connected to her energy, but the infinity side, boundless infinite love. And that's what we are. We, you know, we are infinite love, we are unlimited love, we are unconditional love. And sometimes we forget that when we are in human form. And I often say, you know, wear your human suit loosely because you are made of stardust. And at this time, you know, the energies are really quickening up. And if you're sensitive to energy, you know, some days I feel like the uh, the cosmos is just, worlds are exploding within me because um, I just feel the, the movement of this energy flow that is, you know, going on and what, what we are, everything is speeding up right now. Everything is speeding up. So, you know, you're going to need more grounding, uh, breath work, centering yourselves, you know, using your tools. And we have so many tools. You have to find the tools that work for you um, and the practices that help you to just anchor yourselves fully in the body. Being more ho at home in your body, you know, being more centered in your vessel, knowing that you are evolving and you're creating your heaven on earth within you. So we're not doing this outside of us. We're doing it inside the body. Uh, so being more at home in your body, knowing that you are the cosmos, you're yeah, having a physical experience, that you come from the stars. And I love to have this image behind me because, you know, this is who we are. We forget and we can get caught up in our human self. But we are made of stardust. We are the universe. We are the entirety of the universe, you know, in our physical vessel. And uh, it's to reconnect with that. And through this time, we are reconnecting with the truth of who we are, our cosmic selves, our quantum selves, you know, our galactic selves. And we have so much support around us to move through this time as we expand and we evolve. And we are finding, you know, within us, this time requires a lot of self-inquiry, self-reflection, diving down to the bottom of the ocean of our wounding and also our darkness, our shadow because to be fully, truly liberated through this time is to face our shadow, all of it. So sometimes when I work with clients, you know, I'll see they'll get to a certain point and then I'll see this dip here. Uh, and that's the depth of the darkness and the shadow. And they're skimming over the top. They haven't got, the, they're not going down. They haven't got the courage to go down there. But really, we have to go to the bottom and then make our way up, understand what is there. Uh, and when we can do that deep, deep shadow work and go to the bottom of the sea, the ocean bed, and then rise like a phoenix, you will become fearless. You will, you know, change all the codes of fear and uh, limitation and anything that's held you back and you become fearless and powerful and nothing can stop you, block your path because you'll have so much support you will know who you are truly from within and you'll awaken parts of you and your gifts that you didn't have access to before. So sometimes we can be afraid to face our you know, deep shadow, um, but really that work needs to take place for us to be liberated and free. And this time, you know, we are moving towards liberation and freedom of our soul uh, and the truth of who we are. So, you know, what I feel at, is at the bottom of the ocean is the abandonment wound that, that's coming up very very strongly and where we felt abandoned as a child where we felt neglected where we didn't feel that our parents were there for us didn't see us didn't hold us didn't love us and sometimes you know from past life well, very often from past life we can bring up the abandonment wound through 
so in this lifetime we're also clearing you know those karmic patterns and the things that we couldn't resolve in other lifetimes we are coming back to resolve those uh, in this lifetime so karmic closures uh, karmic entanglements you know clearing and freeing our energy and releasing our energy from any toxic environments or where we depleted our energy we gave ourselves away we were over pleasing you know we we were givers and we were self-sacrificing and um, you know wounded and uh, where we felt rejected and neglected and we would have kept attracting relationships that were emotionally unavailable where we didn't feel that our love you know, we didn't get the love that we felt we needed and deserved. So we are moving beyond neediness and dependency and codependency to interdependency. And the entire, you know, nature shows us uh, how to be interdependent. Nature is not dependent. And in the third dimension, you know, we are very dependent on a system that keeps us in lack and suffering and keeps us small and powerless. And the only way to liberate your souls is to free yourselves, to face your deepest shadows, your wounds, face it all uh, and step into love and freedom of your soul, your truth, your authentic expression so that you can truly be everything that you came here to be. You can access your quantum gifts and the gems and the treasures that lie in the depths, you know, on the seabed that are lying for you to claim them. Uh, for you to dive deep into that shadow and claim your gifts you know I've I've done that and it's not fun it's not fun it's painful um, but you it, it requires time it requires space and it requires you to be with yourself and you know, look at everything that comes up in your awareness and we have to change the inverted programs uh, back to love so literally turn them around um, and choose higher timelines and choose realities that we want to experience and let go of the stories that have kept us small and kept us in suffering so and you will feel liberated on the other side and you will re reclaim you know so much of yourself and your beauty and your gifts that you will look at yourself and think wow you know who is this being I don't even recognize her or him um, and that's really where we want to get to so Goddess Hathor, you know, she of a thousand voices. So she's a group collective. She's not just one being. We are not one being. Uh, I'm a group collective. You are a group collective. We are a group consciousness, you know, so we have our guides and with us, we have our team. So you are seeing me, but this is not who Neelam really is. Neelam is this. Uh, Neelam is the expanse of the universe and Neelam has quantum cosmic galactic guides that are working with her in every moment and are supporting her uh, as you do um, so you know we can get um, pulled away from who we truly are and the power that we have and the power that we have access to uh, and Goddess Hathor really comes in to connect us back to that power uh, and the boundless love that we are and the beauty of love that we are. So today I'm gonna to channel a message from her and bring her through for you and just so that you can feel her love and her beauty and her magic. Um, and through this time really we are expanding our being, our light body and our heart. You know, we have to expand our heart to the love frequencies that are coming onto the planet. So there is so much coming in, there is so much light coming in, there are so many new frequencies coming in. We have the opportunity to move to higher vibrations and the, and the work we are doing now is to, you know, fast track <laughs> this journey because so that we can really tap into the beauty of what's around us. So we are expanding the heart, we are bringing in the frequencies, we are helping souls to anchor them into their body and releasing the wounding and the traumas that have been held in the cellular memories, ancestral, karmic, you know, childhood wounds um, that are now ready to be cleared. So every time we bring in the frequencies of love, we dissolve the trauma, we dissolve the fear programs, we release the anxiety and the worry and the fear. And this time asks you to have faith and courage to step forward, to be brave, you know, to step into the unknown, um, because change is upon us, <laughs> big change is upon us and we have to get comfortable with being uncomfortable, we have to get comfortable with change, we are changing, everything's changing all the time, you know, we are never stagnant, static, 
sometimes we can become stagnant, but no two moments are the same. You know, you can't repeat a moment uh, again because it's gone. So life is speeding up. Um, this year is speeding up, though May has felt very slow, <laughs> very, very slow, because we've done a lot of uh, healing work in May and a lot of processing in this month. But uh, I feel June onwards is going to speed up. So, I think she was talking a lot through me there. And she does that, actually. She talks about life. And she talks about, you know, our human journey. And she talks about, you know, where we haven't allowed ourselves to be loved. Where we haven't felt worthy of love. Um, and to allow our tears to surface through this time. And she's here. You know, you can connect with her courageous, beautiful lion heart. Um, and she's got so much love to give us. And we've got so much love within us that wants to be shared. But we must receive that love first uh, and fill our cup up first before we give that love out to others. So if you have been people pleasers, you know, and you've sacrificed your soul and you've been a martyr and you've tried to fix others and rescue others, this is a time of, you know, giving but receiving. The ocean doesn't deplete itself. It, re it regenerates, you know, it recalibrates, it re receives, and then it gives out. So we are the same. We are 80% water. We must recharge, regenerate, receive, uh, and renew, restore before we give out to others. Otherwise that love is depleted. It becomes tired. It becomes angry, resentful. Uh, and it becomes imbalanced and uh, you are not here to deplete your vessel you are here to fill up first and then give to others and this is something that we've believed you know that self-love is not important or that it's uh, selfish to love ourselves but no uh, this is a lesson i've had to learn in this lifetime the self-love is key for us to connect back to source and back to love and back to the infinite beings that are around us they are operating in a vibration of pure love which means being unconditional love to ourselves. You know, total acceptance of yourself, your body, your mind, your heart, your journey, your story. Uh, unconditional acceptance and love for yourselves and everything that you've experienced. No judgment of the self, no criticism of the self, no blame of the self, no self-sabotage, no shaming of the self. How often do we shame ourselves or feel guilty or feel responsible or feel that we've done something wrong? So these are all old programs, you know, from the wounding. But that's not who we truly are. We are love. We are love. We are love. We are love in our core. And this journey is about opening our heart up to the love that we are. The love that we are. And love is the medicine of this time. Love is the medicine of this time. Love is the medicine for the soul to expand and to feel fully liberated here on earth. And when we are standing in our power, fully liberated, fully loving ourselves and emanating that energy outwards, we are creating this new earth. We are here to create new earth and we are here to build our legacy of love and leave our legacy of love here for future generations. It's why we have come here. And every time each one of us steps forward, you know, and speaks and shares and transmit these frequencies of love, we start to create the ripples on the planet and the ripples, you know, that will touch the collective. So, you know, as I've sat this week in a lot of meditation, I have felt that we are healing the abandonment wound. The collective abandonment wound is he being healed right now. And, you know... We are not here to abandon ourselves, you know, in the past when we were not conscious enough, we would have abandoned ourselves and gone with someone else's viewpoint, you know, and not stood in our power. But at this time we are to, here to stand in our power, to reparent ourselves, to love ourselves, to listen to our intuition, to listen to our inner guidance, to be discerning about what is your truth and what is not your truth, what you are willing to accept and what you're not willing to accept, um, and to have healthy boundaries through this time you know, so that we break those old cycles uh, and we can move forward in step deeper into our power. So <laughs> let's bring Goddess Hathor through, though I think she's shared quite a bit, you know, just there. And she does that. She talks. She likes to talk um, rather than transmit. But we are also going to transmit her frequencies 
and she asked me to bring my rhodochrosite bowl out. I'll bring it in front of you so you can see it. And it was actually in its case. There's a little angel you can see on the side. Uh, she asked me to bring it out of my case this morning. I kept looking at my case and it was in there. It's been in there for a few weeks. And sometimes, you know, we have our bowls and we we can put them away and we forget to bring them out. But she said, get it out today and play me, play this bowl. And this is the energy of unconditional love, harmony, peace, uh, pure love tones and pure vibrations of love. Uh, and this is her energy. So she wants me to play this for you for a little while. And also just to transmit her frequencies of love. So let's get you all comfortable into your space and connected with your heart and just start to take a few deep breaths down into your heart space. And just closing your eyes and taking a few deep breaths down into your heart space. deep breaths down into your heart space as we start to invite in Goddess Hathor into this space. She of a thousand voices, she of a thousand voices, Goddess Hathor, deeply connected to the Goddess, the Hathors, an interstellar race. And sometimes when we channel them, they channel very, very high tones and frequency. They are very, very high frequency beings. So we're going to invite in Goddess Hathor into this space and her beautiful, boundless love that is here for us at this time. And that is always here for us. And as we let go of the resistance to love and any programs that we have where we feel we are not worthy of love or not deserving of love, or that love was not meant for us, or that we'll never experience the love that we, we deserve or we desire. And those are the programs that we've got to change and shift to remember our truth, our divinity, our sovereignty, and the legacy of love that we are and the legacy of love that we've come to leave here on earth, creating new earth together standing together in solidarity emanating those frequencies from your heart but first filling yourselves up with infinite love expanding your hearts opening your hearts opening your hearts opening your hearts dear ones and this month you may have felt little ripples little uh, vibrations through your heart the heart the heart, the heart is all about the heart, dear ones. And any time you lose your way, come back to your heart. Place your hands on your heart and come back to this beautiful stargate within you that connects you to infinite love, boundless love, infinity, dear ones. And the in eternal self, the eternal self, the infinite self, infinite love, unconditional love love in limitless supply and start your day by filling yourselves up filling your cup up filling your vessel up with love before you start to give it out to others self-love is key self-love is key self-love is not selfish dear one self-love is so so important fill your cup up fill your chalice of love up first and then let it drip from you, overflow from you and feed others from that overflowing cup, not from the depleted cup, not from the depleted cup. Imagine a depleted cup or a car that is empty. It cannot run very far. It will become tired, angry. It will break down. It will burn out. This is not the love you came to give to others. This is not the love that you are meant to receive for yourselves. Sit in your space and fill your cup up with unconditional love. And know that you are worthy of this love. You are this love. You are infinite love. You are the source of love. Allow your vessel to receive and nourish and heal 
in this love. Love is the medicine, dear ones. Love is the medicine, love is the medicine, love is the medicine. Love is my medicine, love is my medicine. I allow myself to receive the infinite love that I am. I allow myself to receive the infinite love, the boundless love and that I am. And as you let these vibrations move through your body and these vibrations and this transmission of love and light, we will just hold this space for you. Allow your heart to expand and receive dear ones. Allow your heart to expand and receive, receive, receive. Receive, receive. Receive my cup of love, dear ones. Receive, 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 receive. Receive, dear ones, receive. As I pour into your chalice of love, your beautiful stargate, your heart. Gara risht iri re nini. Kisht, kisht, re re, iri nini, re re, kisht, kisht, re. Taking a deep breath down into your heart space, dear ones. As we thank Goddess Hathor and the Hathors and all the beings that were present in this space and this beautiful transmission of love and the messages that she brought us today. May we rise like the sun, the children of the earth, the children of the stars that came for this time to resurrect the love that we are, the truth that we are, to speak our truth to bring our wisdom from other dimensions and star systems, to be the ascension team and guides that came to lift humanity to new vibrations of truth and transparency, integrity and authenticity and love, dear ones. Build your legacy of love. Build your legacy of love so that when you look back and you leave this planet, you know you left your mark and you created change on the planet. We love you. We love you, dear ones. We love you. And when you are ready, you can slowly start to bring yourselves back into this space. She's so beautiful. <laughs> I'm going to play that once more. Just let the vibration. 
vibrations of love you know, ring in your heart like a, <laughs> a beautiful bell, awakening to your truth and remembering who you truly are. So beautiful, beautiful Hathor and the beautiful beings that stand beside her and stand beside all of us. You know, we are stronger than we believe and we are to know our power through this time because it takes courage and it takes bravery and it takes your love to build this new earth and this vision that we came, you know, with before we came to earth. We came here to build and leave a legacy. So let's get to it. Let's shine our light. Let's not be afraid, but be unapologetic and unashamed of who we are and the love and the light that we carry. We are the New Earth Collective and we are here. Make your mark, <laughs> dig your feet in and spread your love. And remember who you are. Okay, beautiful. Well, I wish you every, everyone a beautiful day, uh, wherever you are in the world. And uh, I know Mother Mary wants to come in next, so we will bring her through uh, on the next transmission. So I hope you enjoyed that transmission from Goddess Hathor and the Hathors. And uh, I look forward to seeing you soon. Take care, everyone, and speak to you soon. Bye for now.